Okay, what else have we got here? There's a whole bunch of games. Some of these I haven't even tried yet. I just downloaded them. Uh, Commander Keen remake. Duck Hunt remake. Okay, so here we've got uh, a NES emulator. Now, I use the Virtual Console. I think the Virtual Console is a great thing. However, I have most of these games. Well, all of these games. Um, I have already bought them. I don't see why legally I shouldn't be able to play them on my Wii when I already own them. So, here we go. You can basically browse uh, for ROMs if you've got them loaded, which I do in here. No, there we go. Try this. Press start. Let's get going. God, I love Mega Man. The sound isn't perfect in this uh, emulator, but there are other NES emulators for it that I haven't tried out, so you'll probably get one that will work perfect, but I mean, it's more than good enough for me. Um, how do you actually select this? There we go. Um, now, there's a few different ways in the, the emulators to, to control how you're using it, like for example here, here's the nunchuck plugged in and it's using it, if you unplug the nunchuck like that we can play it like just like a classic NES game although yeah um, so you can basically play all the the, the, the classic NES games that you used to play when you were a kid. Okay, put the nunchuck back in. The home button will go away from that. Return to the homebrew channel. So again, some really cool things here. I'm going to do another video probably when I go through some other emulation. Uh, we've got here we go Mega Drive now you, or Genesis for those outside of the UK. Now you you may think uh, you may think that basically what am I saying? You may think that it's difficult to actually play this with the Wii mote because there were three buttons on the, the Genesis. Um, however, it's not, it's fine, you can do it, easy, no bother. I can find it. ROMs, there we go, I've just got Sonic. So again, you can use a combination of both of these, or you can use this with uh, the B button acting as the third button if you need it. Uh, for Sonic, you don't actually need it. I'll take the... This is a Sonic compilation, uh, which I had years ago, which is uh, basically you can move around... Uh, a few of the different games, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and uh, a Doctor Robotnik game. Okay, so, do the classic, which is... Just be able to play this stuff on your television is incredible. So, well, you, 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 you know Sonic, I'm not even playing this one, it helps with that start, doesn't it? <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I'm definitely playing it this time. Um, yep, it's Sonic, one of the best games ever made. 
unbelievably good. Okay, we'll go away from that. Um, what else have we got? That's good interest. Some <laughs> free sale when I'm really bored. Uh, ZX Spectrum emulators, which I will definitely do a video on the the Sinclair ZX Spectrum because it was a great uh, it was a great computer, great games. So there's a whole range of different things. This is one of my favourite things. Scum VM. Scum, now Scum VM is basically a, a, a program that lets you load the old LucasArts point and click adventures. If anyone's been on the website they know how I feel about point and click adventures uh, and how angry I am that they don't actually make them anymore. Uh, okay so you just click start. This is the game. You can download this game for free. It's uh, freeware now. It's called Beneath the Steel Sky. This one was made by Virgin and it's actually a really, really great game. Um, and because the Wemo acts just like a mouse, basically, any anything that, that, that just uses a mouse was very easy to port. Looking for pictures in the campfire. Oh, I see. Alright, so here we go. Point and click adventure. Pretty amazing, yeah. Don't look safe to me. I love these games, and to be able to again just play them from my couch on my Wii is look as if it's ever used. unbelievable. Okay, uh, this applies to you know you can run Monkey Island, you can run the Maniac Mansion games, you can run the old even the old Sierra games are starting to get uh, supported by the engine. Uh, the so like you know Space Quest one two and three, those sorts of games. Police Quest, the other Police Quest games, the first Leisure Suit Larry game, uh, these things, and you can play them on your Wii. It's uh, actually I should check that because those games require typing. So I may just have lied to you because I've not actually run them, but I know Scum VM runs them. Um, I do know that the Wii is now completely compatible with USB keyboards because I've tried them out, so maybe it, um, it works through that. 